Okay, this will be a video chart on ticker symbol JNSH. We will take a look at the daily time frame. I believe this is the first time I've ever done this one, but I've had some uh, people kind of give me a heads up alert on it and uh, just saying, hey, check this one out and it's volume. And a uh, very good eye, very interesting chart uh, for two reasons that really stick out. Uh, first one, of course, being the volume, uh, but slightly and more importantly, the correlation between the volume and the price, meaning big volume came in and the price just didn't go sideways or worse yet, down. It actually uh, moved, although it didn't close up at the high of the day, it did show the uh, capability to move, which is always uh, you know, a, a big thing. Lots of stocks out there, you know, they'll get a big surge of volume and then the price doesn't do anything at all. And while, like I said, it didn't close at the high, at least it showed that it can move. So if this volume, uh, you know, stays like this and uh, starts to increase, uh, you know, we could be looking at a big, uh, big runner here. Uh, but that's obviously going to be dependent on whether or not this volume can uh, keep strong. So was this just a one day wonder or is this just the start of a bigger move? Uh, your guess is as good as mine, but from a technical approach, uh, you know, this is definitely uh, the first domino that has fallen, and now it's just a matter of seeing if now we can get the domino effect uh, going on where each one uh, starts to, uh, you know, get bigger and bigger and we can get a run going here. So what I want to do is just map out some supports and resistance levels so we can uh, monitor uh, the progress of the chart and the health of it. Now uh, the kind of healthy zone that I'll be keeping an eye on is right here, uh, this low at 008. And then uh, down here at 0067, this is what we'll call the support zone. So this is the level that if this is some sort of true genuine move that's about to happen, this zone down here should have no problem holding as support. In terms of resistance levels, how do we want to measure the strength of the chart? Again, we'll look at it at the zone approach. We have these two areas of resistance, first one being right here at 0.017 other one up here at 0.019. So between 0.019 and 0.017, we'll call this the resistance zone. And if the volume uh, can remain strong and hopefully increase, and you see the price come up here and just start to you know knock through these, then that's where you can really say to yourself, wow, this thing looks like it might have some traction and could really get moving. And then for the overall resistance and the level that'll really send it potentially into a big run is gonna be up there at 0.023. So 0.023 is uh, the big uh, kind of blue sky breakout level. So I'll try to make that a sky blue. So this will be the one where it could, uh, you know, really jump start. But one step at a time, first got to see if there's any sort of uh, continued strength behind it. But, you know, the good news with uh, using charts and technical analysis, it'll be very easy to track what sort of uh, catalyst and stuff like that, uh, you know, whether or not it's going to start to push the price upward. So keep an eye on those volume bars and how the price reacts. Uh, specifically in regards to the supports and resistance zones. So if there are any other questions on the chart, please let me know. If you know, if you enjoyed this video and want to learn more about charting and how to use it in your strategy as a trader, I'd encourage you to click below and look at our educational course, over eight and a half hours of video and teaching that's been in great third-party reviews and testimonials. So I'd encourage you to make an investment into yourself and your education as a trader and check it out and give it a try. One more time, this was JNSH. Thanks for listening.